Hello YouTube, I'm just in the shed. Um, I had a clear out the weekend and it's much tidier in here. Uh, so it's time to get back in the shed and do some stuff. Uh, it's, this is a bit out of sync with what I was doing before with the copper bending and, and that. But going back to uh, using the power that I've generated during the day, um, trying to get it into the house is, is difficult. <clears throat> and I thought about stepping the voltage up and, uh, and transferring it to the house and then stepping it down and using it as 12 volts but just really couldn't get couldn't get going with that so um, what we have here is a um, a, a driver unit uh, Julian's done a good review of it it's a 600 watt buck boost uh, not buck boost, 600 watt um, driver you drive big LEDs and, and stuff with it so anyway I thought what if I try to drive a grid tie inverter. So what I've basically done is I've got, I've got two leads going into my power supply over there. There we go. Um, and then on the output we've just got some solid 2.5 to another singles going to the grid tie. And we're just on green. It's not actually doing anything. Because uh, with this uh, unit you'll always have 12 volts seeping through and uh, not doing much, and then out of that we have our lead and uh, watt meter, and um, what we're going to do is we're going to drive it at five volts, um, and just set the voltage to maximum of twenty. So it's going to do constant current. So let's uh, set it going. So I'm going to press the start button. The voltage will climb, and the current won't. Okay. Uh, stop. Uh, constant current mode. No. Nope. What have I done now? There we go. So it's going at 4 amps. Just over 5 amps. Climbs a little higher and then drops down. But what we see over the grid time inverter is the lights are now going in sequence meaning it's putting power out but how much power is it putting out? If we look up here it's doing 64 watts 64 watts so we're driving at 5 amp 15 volts so you work it out yeah there is some efficiencies in there it should be around 75 watts by my calculations hang on uh, yeah, it should be about 75 watts, but obviously there is a uh, loss of power in the grid tie itself. 64 watts is actually about what my TV uses. Now, um, I would be quite happy to use this running the grid tie into the house through the mains cable that's already put in, uh, and, and running my TV quite happily, uh, allowing the batteries to drain down. I've got to cycle these uh, lead acid batteries that I have a little bit more because um, they're just sitting there, they're not, they're not getting much use. So I thought I'd have an evening of TV run by the grid tie. Um, I just had to try it, I didn't know if it's possible, but obviously it works. I'm not going to overdo it. Um, right, well, it's been on for a little while and uh, we've used 140 watts. Um, it's not bad, it's only been on for a couple of hours. The battery bank is still up at 14 volts because uh, I did a, well, I jacked it up quite a bit. And the load is 11 amps, so it's held up. So I'm going to turn it off because it's almost 11 o'clock at night. Okay, that'll do, and I'll set it going tomorrow evening, I think. Night night everyone.